Controversial education bill possibly impacting thousands of students both here in Shelby County and statewide facing key votes today in Nashville. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Caitlin Locker Bay. And I'm John Paul. So glad you're with us here on CW30. Governor Bill Lee's controversial education savings accounts will be heard in the House and Senate. Local 24 News reporter Dave Detling live for us in the studio this morning. And Dave, as this bill gets closer to reality, a lot of concern about potential fraud. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We've heard this story before. The voucher program would take away state funds, uh, take state funds rather away from public schools and pump them into private ones. Now the concern is that parents might not spend that $7,300 on their kids' education, which raises the concern about potential fraud. Now, as we've reported, Governor Bill Lee's ESA proposal aims to help kids in low underperforming school districts. Their funds that could very well help students here in Shelby County, giving parents a choice as to where to send their child to a. Different school. Now they'd get up to $7,300 yearly to spend as they choose, but many expect that money to be pumped into private schools. There's also the fear that parents might mismanage that money. An audit out of the state of Arizona with a similar program showed that nearly $700,000 in allocated funds were used inappropriately. They were spent on money like at beauty supply stores, sporting retailers, even used for cash withdrawals. Now here in the state of Tennessee, uh, there's the question that if this voucher pro uh, program becomes available, would families uh, who are undocumented have access to it? You know, the, the Supreme Court ruled that every child in the United States is entitled to, uh, to a free public education regardless of their uh, legal status. Uh, how that uh, applies to an educational savings account, I think, is, is worthy of some discussion. And part of that discussion will be held with uh, legal teams in both the House and the Senate. Now, as for fraud prote protection, administration officials say safeguards would be in place. However, details on how they'd hold participating families accountable have not yet been released. We're live in the studio this morning. Dave Detling, Good Day Memphis.